Residential versus commercial. Let's spend a little bit of time here. It's just a whole different world. Here's a news flash for you. If you're taking notes, write this down too. Commercial is easier than residential. It really is. Now, why would I say commercial is easier than residential? Hmm? Isn't that cool? Uh, I'm not going to spend any time going through this deal, but I did a deal in, in uh, Cocoa. It's a small deal. Um, <clears throat> Cocoa, Florida. Uh, bought a building. Uh, we paid $300,000 for the building. Not a big building. It was 4,000 square feet total, two separate properties. Uh, we paid $300,000 for it. Um, my regular bank would do a 60% loan on it. Um, and, or I'm sorry, an 80% loan. And 80% of the 300000 is uh, 240 um, I got a seller held second for forty thousand dollars in the contract, uh, so I had two eighty in financing in place. Uh, the building was vacant, and I wouldn't buy it vacant. So in the contract, I wrote down that the seller was to provide a tenant for one of the buildings for two thousand dollars a month for a five-year lease because it was going to cost me two thousand dollars a month to carry the entire property. So the day, so although I'm buying a vacant property, I'm not going to close on it vacant. Um, and it's called a, an event-driven closing, where the closing is only going to happen if certain things happen. Uh, and the seller agreed to it, and they found a tenant, paid $2,000 a month for that property. Uh, and the day that I close, I, it's not going to cost me a penny for the next five years to carry it. It's guaranteed. And because I'm, I happen to be a real estate broker, so this makes a difference, but I wrote myself in for a $12,000 commission. So I had $280,000 in financing, $12,000 in commission. I bought that building for $8,000, and for five years I owned it and kicked off $24,000 a year. Now let me ask you a question. How many $300,000 houses can you buy that will kick off net to you $3,000 a year? <laughs> if you're lucky, <laughs> 10 to, to kick off the whole... See, here's the point. Um, the building and the income from that building was a function of the cash flow, the purchase price was a function of the cash flow that we kick off. Okay? Um, and, it, you know, when I say commercial is easier than residential, there's a lot of people who have been investing in houses at way more than $300,000 a clip. And you're just praying that you can sell it because it won't cash flow in a million years, right or wrong. Okay? Why would you do that? <laughs> That's just, you know, go home, get your gun, shoot yourself in the foot now. <laughs> Because that's what you're doing. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> okay, you're playing Russian roulette, and you don't have to. The commercial arena now. Are there bigger deals? Yeah. Are they more scary sometimes? Yeah. But to walk, I mean, how many, how much brains does it take if you can structure the deal to walk into a three hundred thousand dollar purchase that's going to kick you off twenty four thousand dollars there? And that's just kind of eighty percent. That's the. I mean, really on your own money, then the return is huge. Exactly. If you look at the cash on cash, it's incredible. Yeah, if you look at the cash in cash, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's lots of little deals like that out there. Uh, so it doesn't have to be huge deals to make decent money. By the way, 25000 bucks a year on one deal, how many of those would you have to do to be financially independent? Okay. Well, there you go. Well, that's, too, that's not bad, huh? <laughs>